How do you feel, buddy? How do I feel? <laughs> you don't feel anything, right? I don't feel anything at the moment. <laughs> what? Happy New Year. Grace God. It's New Year's Day and I'm pretty excited for all that this year is going to hold and I'm excited for what today holds. We're going to head out and do a polar plunge, myself and my friend Darrell, and it's going to be cold. We're going to jump from like a 20 foot bridge and into freezing water for absolutely no reason other than to say that we did so. So that's pretty fun. What's this polar plunge going to be? It's going to be cold but it's going to be oh. worth it. It's going to be dope. First time ever. So, oh, what are you playing? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a cool life decision made. Yeah, that was a gust of wind. Yeah, you like it. For real? Yeah. I, yeah. I should have brought a towel. Well, I didn't know I was doing this until last night. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it was exhilarating. Definitely. I knew I was going to. I knew I was gonna do it. I just didn't know it was gonna be that bad. This is mild compared to that. That's a yeah, that's a new. Really mild, actually. Like, this don't tell me that, year. please. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Keep coming. It's awesome. <laughs> next year. It's always next year. Every single time a gust of wind hits me, I just hate the fact that I did it even more, <laughs> but equally love the fact that I did it just as much. I should have left my car on and just blasted the heat. That's what I did. Yeah. That's cold, man. But Darrell, what's your... Uh... It wakes you up, man. <laughs> first, first day of the year. Yeah, it definitely wakes you up. <laughs> I gotta walk on all these rocks. Well, that's definitely something you should do once in your lifetime. But I don't know if you should do it every single year. Alrighty. Okay. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Cool as in cold. You know when your feet are cold. Yeah, good luck with that. You don't you don't feel that how much the rock should hurt. I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that happened recently. This is something that has kind of been an inspiration to me, also an encouragement to me on a daily basis. So I made a speech a while back that was entered into a speech competition where I won for my school and then won for the surrounding area. So the least I could be right now is the fifth best speech giver in Pennsylvania. In this speech, I talked about how your income does not determine your outcome. And I talk about how even though I grew up in these situations with bad circumstances and influences and I didn't take advantage of opportunities. I still have the ability to achieve success, and I believe that everybody does. 
And so in that speech, I talk about how if you get up every single day and you make your bed, then you are one step closer to having a successful day. And that's because that little action is something that will give you a small sense of pride that you accomplish something and it will encourage you to achieve another and another. And I got that from William H. McRaven. He's the Naval Admiral who oversaw a mission that uh, stopped Osama bin Laden and his squad. When I saw that, it made complete sense to me as to why I was told that I had to make my bed all the time when I was younger. So now, another thing that I'm gonna try to do in 2019 is make my bed every single day. And this is not my bed, but it's the bed I stayed in last night after the New Year's Eve celebration. And so I'm gonna make it. And you know, it's not something that you think about at first, but in reality, when you make your bed, it does give you a small sense of pride. You know that you accomplished something, and if you go to bed that night after not achieving anything in your own perspective, and you walk into your room, you turn on your light, and you see a made bed, you're gonna realize, yeah, I did accomplish something, and hopefully that will encourage you.